Love is the extremely difficult realization. That something other than oneself is real. I think being a woman is like being Irish. Everyone says you're important and nice, but you take second place all the time. Writing is like getting married. One should never commit oneself until one is amazed at one's luck. People from a planet without flowers would think we must be mad with joy the whole time to have such things about us. One of the secrets of a happy life is continuous small treats. Every book is the wreck of a perfect idea. We can only learn to love by loving. Falling out of love is chiefly a matter of forgetting how charming someone is. Of course, reading and thinking are important, but my God, food is important too. Jealousy is the most dreadfully involuntary of all sins. One should go easy on smashing other people's lies. Better to concentrate on one's own. The absolute yearning of one human body, for another particular body, and its indifference to substitutes, is one of life's major mysteries. Only the very greatest art invigorates without consoling. For most of us, for almost all of us, truth can be attained, if at all, only in silence. It is in silence that the human spirit touches the divine. The most essential and fundamental aspect of culture is the study of literature, since this is an education in how to picture and understand human situations. Our actions are like ships, which we may watch set out to sea, and not know when or with what cargo they will return to port. Perhaps when distant people on other planets pick up some wavelength of ours, all they hear is a continuous scream. Those who hope, by retiring from the world, to earn a holiday from human frailty, in themselves and others, are usually disappointed. The bicycle is the most civilized conveyance known to man. Other forms of transport grow daily more nightmarish. Only the bicycle remains pure in heart. Starting a novel is opening a door on a misty landscape. You can still see very little, but you can smell the earth and feel the wind blowing. Emotions really exist at the bottom of the personality or at the top. In the middle, they are acted. This is why all the world is a stage. Anything that consoles is fake. Every artist is an unhappy lover. And unhappy lovers want to tell their story. What a test that is. More than devotion, admiration, passion. If you long and long for someone's company you love them. We defend ourselves with descriptions and tame the world by generalizing. But death is not easy, and life can win by simulating it. People have obsessions and fears and passions which they don't admit to. I think every character is interesting and has extremes. It's the novelist privilege to see how odd everyone is. What I needed with all my starved and silent soul was just that particular way of shouting back at the world. 
One of the secrets of a happy life is continuous small treats. And if some of these can be inexpensive and quickly procured, so much the better. As we live our precarious lives on the brink of the void, constantly coming closer to a state of non-being, we are all too often aware of our fragility. I feel half faded away like some figure in the background of an old picture. Violence is born of the desire to escape oneself. I felt as if I didn't exist, as if I were invisible, miles away from the world, miles away. You can't imagine how much alone I've been all my life. Coffee, unless it is very good and made by somebody else, is pretty intolerable at any time. There is a gulf fixed between those who can sleep and those who cannot. It is one of the greatest divisions of the human race. Bereavement is a darkness impenetrable to the imagination of the unbereaved. Youth is a marvelous garment. I just enjoy translating. It's like opening one's mouth and hearing someone else's voice emerge. In philosophy, if you aren't moving at a snail's pace, you aren't moving at all. There is no substitute for the comfort supplied by the utterly taken for granted relationship. Art and psychoanalysis give shape and meaning to life. And that's why we adore them. However, life as it is lived has no shape nor meaning. And that's what I am experiencing right now. I've been so unhappy for years. So unhappy. I don't understand how a human being can be so unhappy all the time and still be alive. But one must do something about the past. It doesn't just cease to be. It goes on existing and affecting the present, and in new and different ways, as if in some other dimension it too were growing. We are all prisoner, but the name of our cure is not freedom. Freedom may be a value in politics, but it is not a value in morals. Jealousy is perhaps the most involuntary of all strong emotions. It steals consciousness. It lies deeper than thought. It is always there. Like a blackness in the eye, it discolors the world. This sort of quiet gazing, which was like a feeding of the heart. Every man needs two women a quiet homemaker, and a thrilling nymph. Perhaps there was an intimacy which did not need words. Her eyes, which refused to meet mine, had the defensive coldness of those who are determined to lose hope. Only the deeper parts of the mind have so little sense of time. An experience is richest not talked of. Only take someone's hand in a certain way, even look into their eyes in a certain way, and the world is changed forever. I had deluded myself throughout by the idea of reviving a secret love, which did not exist at all. Between saying and doing, Many a pair of shoes is worn out. Most friendships are a sort of frozen and undeveloping semi-hostility. Guilt keeps people imprisoned in themselves. People have disappointed me, and deceived me, and let me down. 
She was not just a wild creature. She was a wounded creature. You can easily manipulate a man by giving him a lot of sex and completely limiting your f 